Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In the last video, we created the view tool, allow users to update existing to do's. However, for now, if a user updates a to do, they are just redirected to the index view without being told anything, without any notification telling them that they have successfully updated the to do. And it's the same case even for the when a user creates a new to do. When it's, uh, they have created it, they will be redirected to the home page without any notification. So in this, view, uh, in this video, we are going to introduce the Django messaging framework, which is uh, what to use to add notification messages to your request objects, which can be displayed to the user. They are also called flash messages. So Django has a messaging framework, which is what to use for that purpose. If we go to the list of our installed apps in the settings.py file you'll find that one of the apps that comes installed by django is the django.contrib.messages so this is the application which adds the messaging functionality so it has several methods that you can use to add uh, messages to your request object and then you can display them in the templates so there are several mess uh, message labels that you can add. There is a debug, there is an info, success warning, and error messages. So for example, if an error happens, you can add an error message. If you want to warn a user, you can add a warning if it's success. You can give a success me message and so forth. So let's um, do that and uh, let's add a message. When a user uh, successfully updates or creates a to-do, let's add a notification telling them that the action was successful so in the to do create view after the form dot save method meaning that the save was successful we can add a message telling the user that the save was successful so first let's import the messaging framework so let's say from jago.contrib import messages which is the messaging framework and it has several methods that you can use so if you want to add a success message you'll say messages dot success if it's a warning you'll say messages dot warning and so forth so in this case because this is a the operation was successful we'll say messages dot success and this method receives the request object as as the first argument and then the next argument is the message that you want to display or to add to the request so we'll say uh, the to do was created successfully and then let's have the same in the update and say the to do was updated successfully after adding the messages you will have to display them in your templates the best place to do that is in the base template so that they can be displayed in all the child uh, templates so we will do that just above the main block element main content element so let's change the syntax to django so usually when you add messages they are added as a messages list in the context object and you can access them in your templates so we will do a check first and check if there are messages that have been added and if they are there we loop through the messages so let's say for message in messages we'll display the message so let's go to our browser and let's try to update our to do and see if the message will be added the message saying the to do has been updated successfully yeah, so we can see that the message has been added, the to-do was updated successfully. So to make it better, we can use bootstrap alerts to make it a bit uh, more conspicuous so that the user can see clearly that the to-do has been updated successfully. So we can use the alert success to do that. So let's go to our template and add that. Let's render this properly. 
so it's within the alert block where we will display the message so and let's remove this i'm sorry let's remove this so let's go to the to do's and let's update another to do yeah the to do was updated successfully so that's cool it's not dismissible because we are not using the bootstrap uh, javascript if you want to make it dis uh, dismissible you can go into the bootstrap documentation and see how that you can do that but when you refresh the page it's gone so you can see that we are having a uh, alert success only but when we are adding messages in our views we will not be adding success messages only we will be adding warnings and error messages and so forth so we need to make uh, this code so that it can display any type of message so the Django messaging framework uh, each message has a tags uh, attribute which you can use it to access the type of tag that the message has for example the success message uh, message the success will have uh, tags of success so we can uh, use that one uh, to construct the appropriate bootstrap classes so we can say uh, message dot tags so if it's a success it will be uh, success if it's warning it will be one and it will still work fine so let's go and let's update another one again yeah so you can see that it is it still has the success message which we've got from the message dot tags element but one small caveat uh, if uh, you look at bootstrap when there is an error it will display alert danger but in our case the the tag will be an error so that one will not be displayed properly for example let's change uh, quickly in the update view let's say an it, that's an error message let's go back and let's update this you can see that there is no highlighting and if you look at the class you see that it is alert error but for bootstrap it's an alert danger which uh, is what they use to show that an error has occurred so we can add an if conditional to do that for us in the template so we can say uh, let's say if if the message dot tags is equal to an error the one that we get from the messaging framework will have the class danger danger else if it's anything else we will just have the message dot tags so we can have this everything in one line copy that one let's co cut let's copy everything and let's let's copy the and if yeah, so if the message the tag is an error we will display the danger class the danger class and if it's anything else we will just have message the tags so let's copy this and let's remove this and exchange that one so you can see that you can use the if conditional to control the classes the classes in your html that you are using yeah, so i hope that is well so let's go back to the browser and let's update another one and see if the class error will be displayed properly yeah so you can see that it's now using the danger class we can go back to the uh, to the views and change this one to success and let's try another one let's save yeah it's success if you refresh it's gone when you add messages to your templates it the messages will be displayed on the first template that has the messages rendered so because we are having it in base it means that when we redirect to the index view the index view will be having that the messages and they will be displayed 
but if the index page did not have this message displayed they will be displayed in the next template which has them displayed which can be a bit confusing so if for example you have another page which does not inherit from the base which has these messages you will have to manually add copy that one to that template so instead of having these messages here we can have them in a separate template and include it here Django has a, a concept known as uh, includes so you can have various snippets of HTML which you can add in other HTML templates and they're usually put in a directory in your uh, templates known as partials or includes for now let's just use partials so within this directory let's create a new partial which will contain the messages so that will be messages.html and let's have this one in that template let's save that one and in our base template we can use the include tag to include that so we we'll include the part will be main partials messages.html so let's save that one so you can see that you can include this one here or in another place that you want to include it but we are because we're including it in the base template there is no need to include it in the others because they are all inheriting from base so let's go to our browser let's refresh that one and let's try to say, uh, update and see if everything is working fine yeah the to-do was updated successfully and if it's uh, creating a new to-do the message displayed will be the to-do was created successfully that's it for now thanks for watching happy coding